Heat and pressure are what create our third rock type. Metamorphic rocks start out as any of the three rock types, but then heat and pressure act to create a new rock, like a caterpillar metamorphoses into a butterfly. This change can be either physical or chemical, or a combination of both. The original rock cannot get too hot or be under too much pressure, where it melts completely and when then cool to form an igneous rock. To metamorphose, rock needs to be between about 400 and 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit for a certain length of time. The hotter or the higher the pressure and the longer the time, the higher the degree of metamorphism. Which rock we start with also determines what type of metamorphic rock we end up with. Here are some examples. This granite can become nice. You can see the same minerals, but they went from uniformly distributed to banded. Shale can metamorphose into gneiss too, because it has many of the same minerals as granite, but there is a succession of the shale to slate, phyllite, schist, and then gneiss with increasing heat and pressure. Quartz sandstone goes from being sand grains cemented together to being fused into massive quartz, called quartzite. This limestone is metamorphosed into interlocking calcite crystals, called marble. Rocks typically are heated and exposed to pressure when they are deep in the earth, when they are squeezed, where tectonic plates collide, or when magma, such as our little cottonwood granite example from igneous rocks, cooks the surrounding rock to high temperatures for long periods of time. Of the three rock types, metamorphic rock is the least common rock exposed in Utah. Much of the Wasatch Range, north of Salt Lake City, is metamorphic. Gneisses, schist, and quartzite. The Raft River and Grouse Creek Mountains in the northwest corner of the state have metamorphic rock that is about 2.7 billion years old, more than half the age of the Earth. The older a rock is, the more likely it has changed into something else. Check out this rock. What type is it? Notice it looks like the gray limestone we saw earlier, and it looks like white marble. Is it sedimentary, like limestone, or is it metamorphic, like marble? It's both. The white stripes have been metamorphosed by hot fluids circulating through the limestone. Not every rock is clearly of one type. Remember, heat and pressure can change any rock into a metamorphic rock. Want to learn about sedimentary and igneous rocks and the minerals all rocks are made of? Please watch our other informative videos.